In this video we will see how to design a negative edge triggered flip flop but before that let's review positive edge triggered flip flop ok let's start so what we have said we can design an edge triggered flip flop using two latches and usually the first latch is called a master latch and the second latch is called a slave latch so to achieve this edge trigger flip flop we need to make sure only one latch is active at a time that's why we use inverter for the clock signal for the first case and we directly connect the clock signal to the second latch okay and then this is a positive edge trigger flip flop if the clock is zero then this is active right so during this time this d value is copied to the qm right so if i say my qm is here during this time my qm will become like this but when the clock is one I am disabling this master latch and I am enabling this slave latch right then what will happen this QM value and then the last value of this QM or the last value of this D will go to the our output right just on this edge whatever I got from D it will be transferred to my output note that this slave is active when the clock is one so this is how an edge triggered flip-flop is working right so until the next clock edge whatever here it will not important for us and just on this edge this value will go to the my output right just before the edge whatever i have right on this edge i will be sampling this d value on this edge i will be sampling this one and on this edge i will be sampling this d value and it will be transferred to the output it is important for you to understand actually what's going on here so what happens if i change the place of this inverter right so in this case if this is my clock signal so during this time first latch is active right so this d will go to here if the clock is high if the clock is low then i will be disabling the first one disable first and activate the second one then the value that sampled at this point just before the this edge then it will be going to the output so if you change the place of the inverter then this will become a negative edge flip flop okay so by changing the places of these inverters then we can either get a positive edge flip flop or negative edge flip flop okay so this is a negative flip flop and the only important d value is just on the negative of the clock all the other times we don't care about what is d because we only sample or only copy d at this negative edge so if you do a functionality table for this flip flops so we have this d input and this clock input and this is our q t plus one so if d is zero and if we have a negative clock edge our output will be zero if my d is one and if there's a negative clock then my output will be one if the clock is zero or the clock is one i don't care about my input i will be keeping my last value at the output right so this is the functionality table for the negative flip flop similarly you can do it for the posage clock okay right so how many gates inside of this flip flop right so inside of each of these latches we have this NAND gates for example if it is a NAND base gate so inside of these latches we have four NAND gates and one inverter so this is one latch so for the flip flop we have two latches and one inverter so the total we have eight NAND gates and three inverters so the flip flops are twice as big as the latches but they are more reliable in the digital circuits that's why we prefer these edge triggered d latches so we can do some examples now so in this example design a positive edge triggered flip flop using active low d latches so when i say active low they are enabled when the enable signal is zero so now we have these d latches but they are active low right so let's design our d latches so this is an active high d latch so this is my d this is my q so this is an active high d latch how do i know i know this is enabled when the e signal is high but you are given a active low d latch so to make this active low 
I I can just put an inverter here. This is my enable signal now. Okay. Now I made it an active low delay. Okay. So this is my active low delay. So I will be using two of them. So let's design the another one. Okay. Now I have two active low delays, and I want this a positive edge flip flop. So I need to figure out how do I connect my flip flop to these enable signals, right? So if I want it to positive edge right so i want to sample my input at this edge so therefore i would like to make first ledge active here and during this time if the clock is high i would like to make second ledge active okay how do i make sure the first ledge is active when the clock is low so this is an active low so therefore i directly connect my clock here so when the clock signal is low I will be enabling the first latch and I need to make sure if the clock is high second latch is active so I will be putting an inversion here right so that when the clock is high I will get a low signal here and that low signal will be activate this second latch okay so by doing this connections right I was able to do a pause edge flip flop using active low D latches.